I just got home from work. It is a beautiful evening outside. I'm gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna bring you along with me. And since this is not a recreation channel, you're here to listen to me talk about perfume. There has to be a scent of the walk. Today, that is going to be Bodica Woad. Couple quick sprays. Let's go. So I have been meaning to do a review of Bodica Woad since I started my channel, but I felt like I needed to wait for the perfect time and to go to the perfect place to actually talk about it. And the park here, it is the perfect place. Bodica is a fashion brand from the UK. I think they've been around since 1997. I think they do like couture wear. I'd actually never heard of them until I heard about this perfume, which came out in 2008, and it was composed by Geza Schoen. A little bit more about the concept though. All right, Bodica was actually a historical British figure. She was the queen of a tribe of Celts from around AD 60, and she led an uprising of her people against the Roman invaders. And uh, what ended up happening was she was defeated and she committed suicide shortly thereafter, apparently by ingesting hemlock. So woad is a flower, and what it's been used uh, for throughout the centuries is it's dried and it actually uh, can create a blue dye. And so part of that legend of Bodica was that she and her people were painted all in blue. In fact, I guess thousands of years ago, many of the Celts were known as the painted people because they would use woad to basically totally cover themselves. So the theme here is extremely blue. Hell, early versions of Bodica woad actually came in spray paint cans or at least that style of atomizer. And when it would go on skin, it actually would show up blue. And within a matter of seconds or minutes, it would actually disappear, which I think is totally brilliant. So at least conceptually, for me, Bodica Woad as a fragrance, man, Geza Schoen and the brand totally knocked it out of the park. And so while the concept of Bodica Woad is blue, the fragrance itself wears extremely green. And that's exactly why I brought you out here. You know, the human eye can actually see more shades of green than any other color in the spectrum. And forests here in the Pacific Northwest, Washington Park, of course, being just one very small one, are great places to come and see those myriad shades of green in all of their glory. Out here, of course, you've got many different types of ferns. There are cedars. Douglas firs, there's a ton of English ivy, unfortunately, hemlock trees, wild violets, trillium, of course, plenty of oak moss. And I wouldn't be surprised that over the decades that there's been plenty of illegal grow operations out here as well. One other thing that actually has been spotted in Washington Park recently is poison hemlock flower. And of course, poison hemlock flower it's what killed Bodica, and surprise, surprise, it's also a note in Woad. It'd be kind of cool to find a poison hemlock flower. If I do, I promise you this video will not end as tragically as Bodica's life did. So this isn't much of a fragrance review, at least not a traditional one, and I'm not going to run through all the notes, but man, Bodica Woad has a ton of them. Uh, Angelica, coriander, cedar, 
a jasmine, tuberose, an opium accord, uh, as well as that hemlock accord. It's pretty damn complex, and when you look at the note list, it's kind of what you'd expect from a niche scent. The scent itself is like the forest primeval. It is earthy, loamy, like soil that is just completely soaked by the rain. It's intensely cool uh, and just wonderfully green. But there's also this component of kind of this element of warmth to it as well. Almost like the sun beaming through the canopy, right? that lush canopy above and kind of warming up the ground just a little bit below. You know, at least for me, it's also fern-like in a way. Not like a fougere, right? No lavender, no coumarin, none of that sweet green hay accord. I almost think of this as like the fougere reimagined. Almost like if Geza Schoen looked at the fougere and said, I love the structure, but I want to create something totally new. And I think if some of us niche knobs were paying attention, we would actually look at Wode and think that it actually is something it's, I can't think of anything else quite like it. It is, in a word, it's pretty spectacular. Very special scent. And man, when I think of niche, Bodica Wode is, Bodica Wode is what I think of. So likelihood to recommend on a scale of one to five, five being highly likely, one being not likely at all. Wode is an easy five for me. It is, truly a niche scent. It's exactly what I think of when it comes to niche. I think everybody out there needs to try it, especially those of you whose taste kind of fall in line with mine. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you kind of know what I like. So um, yeah, Woad, there are few scents like it. I think everybody needs to try it at least once. And uh, as he does many other times, Geza showing absolutely stunned me with Bodica Wode. All right, guys, that is it. I am going to head home, kick off the boots, enjoy the rest of the evening. I hope all of you out there are doing very well. Uh, things are not great, I know, but uh, we've got a lot to be thankful for, and I am very thankful for you for dropping by, as always, and for all of your wonderful comments and uh, what I would consider to be friendship. So I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Smash that like button. I don't know if it helps or not, but do it. That's what you're supposed to do. Until next time, take care.